Welcome to new automotive info. This is 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 400. Kawasaki may have recently discovered the sweet spot with its new Ninja 400. Initially, the new bike has experienced a considerable weight diminishment treatment, an uprooting increase in 103cc, and an attractive styling update, all while staying at precisely the same point. Non-ABS models begin at $4,999 while ABS is an extra $300. Kawasaki was determined to inflict some damage when it backpedaled to the planning phase for its new section-level bike. At the point when Kawasaki began to feel the stark rivalry from bicycles like Yamaha's R3 and KTM's RC390, they got the chance to work keeping in mind the end goal to reclaim what was theirs, as per Kawi. That would be the lightweight passage level sport bike class. With one take a gander along the edge by side spec diagram, it's entirely evident they have done as such. In the wake of spending a day riding the new Ninja 400 on the twisting byways of Sonoma County and a day of turning laps at Sonoma Raceway, I am here to report that the 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 400 will be a power to be figured within the lightweight sport bike class. Kawasaki Ninja 400 there's no trade for uprooting. While this isn't generally the case, possibly it is as a general rule. Kawasaki has helped the cubic centimeters of its littlest ninja by 103cc, putting it on the spec diagram when one next to the other with its cohorts. Still a parallel twin, bore and stroke are expanded to 70.0 by 51.8 while pressure proportion is knocked to 11.5 to 1 from 10.6 to 1 found in the 300. Motor execution amendments can be seen all through, including bigger distance across head funnels at 31.8 mm, a lighter flywheel, more exact tuning taking into consideration the end of sub-throttles, lighter manufactured camshafts, advanced admission and fumes valves, another cylinder with lessened squish and a complement crown which is likewise made to be lighter because of the oil planes cooling it from beneath. The chamber is additionally sleeveless and utilizes plated exhausts. The radiator has likewise been updated to better direct warmth far from segments the rider will come into contact with, all while utilizing no new parts says Kawasaki. Likewise ascribing to the not really small ninja's newly discovered execution is the bigger 5.8 liter airbox with another downdraft consumption which gives the most direct way of air into the chamber. This makes a more productive admission framework. The admission pipes themselves are diverse statures enabling Kawasaki to block out most dunks in the torque bend. Kawasaki says this has been particularly essential to enhanced motor execution at high RPM. The airbox was additionally designed with greater run bending nature at the best to take out undesirable commotion, while as yet conveying an unmistakable admission note which was available in the most ideal route at high RPM at Sonoma Raceway. The transmission has additionally experienced some update. Close rigging proportions and the help grasp make flipping through apparatuses a breeze, while the shoe capacity will keep the back tire from bouncing or slipping amid forceful or incidental downshifts. Kawasaki says the draw at the grasp lever has been decreased by 20% which might be invited in the city. How about we investigate how Kawasaki made an officially deft cruiser into an extremely sharp, summer-destroying, corner-murdering, ninja. While considering the ability to weight proportion of bikes, dropping 17.7 pounds gives a significant lift in execution. When we had the Ninja 400 on the dyno we likewise had an opportunity to measure it. Brimming with 3.7 gallons of fuel, the 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 400 with ABS weighs 366 pounds the last Ninja 300 we tried, with a 4.5 gallon tank, weighed 381 pounds. So we're taking a gander at around a 10 pound drop in genuine weight. The new Ninja 400 is worked around a trellis style outline got from Kawi's work on the Ninja H2, which includes unbending nature while decreasing weight. The inflexible mounted motor is likewise now utilized as a focused on part, with an aluminum swinger mounting plate rushed to the back of the motor. This all prompts included soundness and less weight. A brisk take a gander at the Ninja 400's new undercarriage measurements likewise imply the nimbler character of the 2018 model. 
the general wheelbase has been abbreviated by 1.4 inches, while the guiding edge has been diminished by 2.4 degrees putting rake and trail at 24.7 degrees slash 3.6 inches seat stature has been kept the same at 30.9 inches. The somewhat upright class bond set the handlebars back toward the rider by 15 mm from the past model, while the foot pegs have been moved 9 mm in reverse. The suspension has likewise been updated with a non-flexible 41 mm Showa fork from the Ninja 337 mm tubes. A Kibraze stun with another UNI track linkage is currently utilized out back with 5-way preload change. While the suspension is to some degree delicate, I never had any bottoming issues, and it splashed up blemishes in the city pleasantly. On the track, stiffer suspension would be favored, yet it functioned admirably enough for us to completely appreciate the bicycles as Sonoma Raceway. Kawasaki has additionally overhauled the Ninja's ceasing power in advance to a solitary 310mm rotor grasped by a double-cylinder Nissan caliper, while the back rotor stays 220mm with a solitary cylinder caliper. In spite of the fact that braking power was sufficient, it wound up one of only a handful couple of things most columnists said they would change first if track obligation was the task. Steel twisted brake lines and an arrangement of dashing brake cushions would likely fix the lightness and delicate beginning nibble. In the city, it's less an issue. While overhauling the whole bike, Kawasaki kept in mind the tires. The Ninja 400 now utilizes Dunlop Sport Max GPR 300 elastic, which gave great grasp in the city in dry and soggy conditions. Since 2008, Kawasaki has completed an awesome activity at influencing its entrance to level bikes look considerably more like their bigger uprooted kin. For 2018 Kawasaki has proceeded with styling that is certainly ninja. From the KRT illustrations, a $500 redesign that incorporates ABS, to the trellis type edge and tails triple crest theme, the Ninja 400 offers styling in soul with its greater brothers. Driven lighting is found all through on the Ninja, giving it that top-notch bike feel. As said beforehand, the triple crest theme tail segment and little button spoilers on the base of the front cow were gotten from the Ninja H2. The new 5 talked wheels look smooth and are said to be lighter than the past form. The cockpit additionally has refined feel without free links or wire staying nearby prominently, rather everything is well bound and steered perfectly off the beaten path. The dash likewise looks incredible while furnishing a not too bad measure of data with the rigging determination marker up front. In brutal daylight, the screen can be fairly hard to peruse. There is by all accounts some disarray about the 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 400's place in the market and Kawi's lineup. In the first place, Kawasaki will never again create the Ninja 300. A considerable measure of people assumed it would proceed with the 300, yet this isn't the situation. The 400 is currently Kawasaki's littlest sport bike. Last contemplations on the Ninja 400, it's a more adaptable, unintimidating lightweight sport bike that motorcyclists can develop with. The Ninja 400 would be a simple first cruiser that you could get into track days with also. To me, and numerous other people who have ridden the 400, the lift and dislodging feels perfectly. You have simple to utilize mid-go control that goes ahead solid without being scaring, amazingly light and exact dealing with and styling for a considerable length of time. What's more, learn to expect the unexpected. They are in dealerships now, so search out your neighborhood merchant or demo day and observe for yourself. That's all from New Automotive Info. Thanks you for watching from New Automotive Info. Please subscribe for more videos and have a good day.